Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Dishonored. And I'm back in Corvo's chambers here, and right before I wanted to click on the bed, I noticed something on the nightstand here, and it's Lord Pendleton's reward. Corvo, this matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I don't wish to discuss it further. However, I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least. So perhaps someday I will see them again. All right, and I got a bunch of bunch of coins for that, and my note that note was added to my journal. Before I go to sleep, though, before I do that, I want to uh, snoop in on those guys again because uh, what's his face was not saying some very pleasant things in his audiographs. It's sort of like he's being a little bit uh, conspiracy minded. Hey, Lydia, how you doing? You're doing that well, huh? Okay. Uh, Wallace? What's Lord up? Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. I'm sure you understand. Um, sure I do. Probably more than you do. Uh, so what is, uh... So he's not in, right? So I can uh, p take that and I can listen to what he did on the autograph. <laughs> it was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice. And they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Confound these interruptions! <laughs> the guy is... The guy is talking about all his conquests now. <laughs> That's how much time he has. I'm out getting rid of his brothers for him, and he's, he's talking about his conquests in the bedroom. Um, two, two... Which one of these is... Attention. That's that one. Okay. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, Ad Oh, that's what his name. Admiral and Overseer Martin. And Gaffer's Tale, Admiralty and the Fleet. I think I've read all those. I'm going to hit up your audiograph player here while you're... Oh, actually, I'll, I'll read your log entry, I think, first. Uh, Havelock Log Entry 4. He is returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do an extraction that I didn't think possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure their disp dispositions toward one another before following that line of thought. Hmm... All right. Yeah, this guy seems like he's playing both sides of the fence here. How about the audiograph player? We're closer to reaching our goals, but our position is becoming more dangerous. You don't house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude, if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will. There's a sadness in Emily, but she's strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always Lady thought that Emily I'd command the Navy in her name. Some... Sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Uh, don't do it, man. Don't do it. He's already getting delusions of grandeur. And it looks like he's got Pendleton's votes here. Havelock, bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote at Parliament. It was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as you said it would, losing the Pendleton voting bloc has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defense budget failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the, claim, most of the coin he's using to keep the city watch going is coming from a close ally. 
We suspect it's a powerful noblewoman who is perhaps his mistress. I'll try to dig up more information. As we know, if the watch doesn't get paid in coin and an elixir, their loyalty will start to crumble your friend on the inside. Um, I wonder if they're talking about the Boyle women because they keep we keep hearing about them and they are nobles. So I wonder if that's I wonder if that be if that be the case. Uh, anything in here that I should know about other than these books I still haven't read? <laughs> is that what is that a painting of Batman? Oh no, okay. <laughs> I thought I thought I saw Batman. Uh, okay, all right, we've we've done what we can. Let's head up to our bed. And see if perhaps we will get visited in our dreams as we have the past times we've gone to our bed. Or if it will be a, a sweet, sweet night of rest. Uh, we shall find out one way or the other. Is there anything else here? I, I forgot that I had a sleep dart here still. So I actually paid for one more than I, than I needed. But oh well. Alright, I think everything else is good here. Let's, let's sleep. And time to rest. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. And there's trouble? Uh, well, you can stay here whenever you want. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, I'm sure that. she will. It makes me feel better. All right. Oh, interrogate Sokolov. Well, that's a hell of a wake-up call. Interrogate. Ooh, Emily's rendering of Corvo. Corvo, this is a drawing I made of you without your scary mask. Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is, Daddy. All right. Well, so I guess that means that I am actually Emily's father. It's just she didn't. We weren't supposed to. Uh, <laughs> no one else in the in the empire was supposed to know, I guess. Uh, rumors and sightings of Dowd. I think I've read this one already. All right, so I guess that confirms it. I am Emily's father, apparently. All right, cool. Uh, and we shall head out this way. Let's just take another quick peek around. I should probably do a little quick save just in case. Just in case Sokolov decides to be a little bit difficult. Uh, hello there, Lydia. And what do we have going on in here? Anything? Okay, these guys have, have gone away. My first tale, I think we've read that already. Anything else here I should know about? Is there another note? Did he make another note? No. Entry four. Okay. Alright. Whatever. And I guess we can come the oh. renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be delayed indefinitely. Uh, Piero. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. Sure you were. Shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. Right. Um... Yeah, who you watch in a bathtub is none of my concern. I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be one. Well, you might have to try a little bit harder, my friend. You might have to try a little bit harder. Ah, but you know, what's a what's a little peaky peaky do? Huh. Yeah, it's about what I expected. I I imagine. All right, still stuff over there. Should I go in and just and just interrupt her and say that I need I need books. <laughs> I need some reading materials. Uh yeah, that I suspect it won't go very well. All right, so down we shall go, and let's uh, let's beat up Sokolov a little bit. Actually, yeah yeah, let's do another quick save just in case since I. So I had that little chance encounter with uh, with Piero up there. Make sure he's not he's not spying on people. 
Especially while they're taking taking baths. Alright. Over here we shall go. Well, hello there, Pendleton. I hope How are you? Will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Ah, instead of you and your brothers, huh? Well, that would that would probably work. Uh, I just I just felt the need to look over there. I, I didn't know if there would be anything there or not. All right. Mm -hmm. Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat was funding the military with her fortune. She does is this, the does this do? control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Oh, it opens that. Okay. Um. Hmm. So what does that do for me? All right. There's a book here I wanted to kind of talk talk to through though. Uh, whelping and training hounds. Uh, what does this say? Oh, okay. It's yeah. Just some other some other thing. Uh, okay. So there's that. There's also a book in there. So I'm, I'm supposed to, I assume, get in there. So how would I do that? I mean, obviously, I want to talk to this guy. Oh, hey, here's some medicinal herbs. TV and ore. I have a feeling, though, there's not anything I can say to this guy that will actually make him fess up. We have some of his health elixir up here, too. Um... This goes, wow, this cage goes all the way up to the roof. Okay, so I guess I can't really get in there, huh? Huh. Alright. There has to be a way because there's that thing that opens. Uh, but I guess we'll just talk to this guy and see what happens. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Hmm. Perhaps I can find a bribe for you. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. Talk to Piero and buy a bribe. I okay. A drink. Let's try that. I'll leave it Let's see to what you. we can do. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. It might help persuade him. If not, well, call me if it gets entertaining. Well, thank you for that information. You could have given me that information before I walked in there. That would have been helpful. But giving it to me on the way out, also helpful because I can now talk to Piero, who is up in his workshop here instead of peeping on people. Okay. Anything else in here that I should take? My well, oil processing, it's all the same stuff. Piero, I need a bottle it's of your well finest. It's known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. For However, science? I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff. A blend of rare Pendician spices well, if it, and... If it's terrible tasting, oil, why would you not you part with it? To purchase it? Uh, 
Let's see if I can purchase it. Uh, oh, I got a new boot upgrade. Well, that's awesome. Where did I pick that up? Huh. Uh, okay, King Street Brandy, 150 coins. That's fine. Uh, upgrades? 600? Oh, I have just enough for it. Oh, is that because... Did I unlock that because I unlocked the other one? Uh, maybe I did. All right, I will purchase that. Thank you. All right, excellent. See, it's a good thing I came back to you, Piero. You, you've always got some stuff for me. Now, we shall come back out here. The outsider walks among us. Let's give this brandy to... What's his face? Sokolov. And then see if that loosens his tongue. Not the Get me... Get me the tongue looseners. Uh, found a bottle of King Street for you. King Street brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. Uh -huh, the boils. I'm sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. <laughs> wink, wink. She still makes a striking portrait, but I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night, but I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect, Corvo. But the boils are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? It comes with the right. job. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the boil women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Hmm. Put Emily on the throne and put you in a position of being the the spiritual leader guy. Hmm. I suspect I suspect things are afoot. Suspect everyone. Uh, I, I would like to get into that. I would like to get to that that book there. Uh, oh, I can get to it from here. Call to the Spheres, Volume Two. Excerpt from a work of fiction, middle chapters. Ochado was elated, like a boy of sixteen on the eve of the fugue feast. When we are back in Gristol, I'll be named Royal Physician. Or you'll be buried for heresy, third prefect. All depends on what we find when we get there. My master's voice was different, as if the air of the outer spheres added quantities normally absent. Uncertainty, weakness, fear. I risked another glance at the monolithic structure in the distance. It was a wonder for Orchado, a puzzle for Overseer Bryn, and for me, a towering monument to emptiness, a magnificent shrine to madness. Did they find, did they find the monolith from 2001, the Space Odyssey? Oh boy! Ew. Run away, run away from that thing! Don't, don't let it, don't let it corrupt you! Don't let it corrupt your computers! Oh wait, you don't have computers yet. Uh, don't let it corrupt your steam machinery. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this crank wheel. I wonder if this was to, if I let the rats in, then that was to let them back out again, or let him out, or I don't know what that, I don't know what that would do. But anyway, anywho, we took the peaceful I way. I off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? Okay, sure. You don't know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. An old friend or an old enemy? Optional deliver a note to Lord Shaw. He's in the wolf mask. Is he? Is that? Is, is this note going to like alert him to my actual, to my actual identity and cause all the guards to come after me? Mysteries of Pandicia. I've read that one before. Oh my jumps! I've got all the jumps here. Ah. Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be empress, won't I? 
And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what empresses do mostly, isn't it? <laughs> of course. I knew it! Uh, the Empresses and pirate ships have naive, to do Naiveness. I love it. Want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet. <laughs> Very well. Uh, Emily. Emily. Hey, hey. Why are you busy? Talk to me. Talk to me, Emily. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. Uh, I, well, I, yes. <laughs> for, for multiple terms of admire, if you will. All right, so it looks like we are off to our own uh, little uh, ball here, costume ball. We've got our mask and we're ready to go. And I guess we will take care of that in the next episode. Uh, wait, what's uh, what does this ha Havelock have a to say? Ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Okay, yeah, that's. Now I thought, uh, where was that Martin guy, Overseer Martin? Uh, oh well. I guess, I, I guess I'm not going to talk to him before I go on the ball. But uh, we will do all that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.